Hello, we've got another Crack and Beard OBS tutorial and today we're going to be looking at assigning specific transitions to specific scene changes. This method is a much simpler um, and basically much more reliable system than the one that we showed you last time and having these transition tables can really help elevate your content. And speaking of elevating content... Nice segue! We want to quickly thank the sponsor of today's video, Owned.TV. More than 300,000 streamers across Twitch, YouTube and Facebook use Owned products, uh, designs and extensions. Owned.TV provides world-class stream designs, overlays, alerts, emotes, and so much more so that live streamers can provide incredible experiences for their fans. Whether you're just starting out or need the basics, or a seasoned professional looking for a fresh look, Owned offers hundreds of options covering a variety of styles and aesthetics. You are sure to find something that fits your unique taste and brand. Please do take a look at our affiliate links below. As always, use the code CRACKINBEARD at checkout for a huge 50% discount. Okay, first of all, if you are just looking to make it so that when you go to a certain scene, it always plays the same transition, um, you can do that just by right-clicking on the scene, click on Transition Override, and select the transition you want for that specific scene. It will then override the default transition and play the selected transition whenever you go to that scene. But if you wanted that scene to have different transitions depending on what scene you were on before, then head to OBS Project and download something called the Transition Table Plugin. The link will be in the description and I feel like we shouldn't have to say it anymore at this point, but this plugin won't work with Streamlabs OBS. Click on download and then select the installer. Once downloaded, Unzip the file and go through the installation process and install to your OBS directory. You'll probably see a pop-up um, confirming that the file location already exists. Just click on OK. And if you do see this blue scary window pop-up, um, just click on Info, or sorry, click on More Info, and then Run Anyway. If OBS was open when you ran this installer, you will need to, to restart it. Now at the top of OBS, you want to click on tools and then you'll see that transition table is now available. And then once you click on that, this pop-up will appear. And it's pretty straightforward. Um, select your from scene. So I'll select one. Then choose your to scene. I'll select two. Then choose the transition. Now my default transition in this OBS is cut. So I'll choose fade. Then select the duration of the transition. I'll go for two seconds, so 2,000 milliseconds. Then click set and close. Now you can see that whenever I go through any scene changes, they all cut. Unless I go from one to two, and then it fades. If I go three to two, it still cuts. But if I go one to two, it fades. <laughs> and of course, this works with any transitions whether it's the move plugin transition, um, a stinger transition, or any of the default ones. When in the transition table plugin, you can have a transition between two specific scenes, or you can even use any for the transition to apply to all scenes when going to or from a specific scene. Just to note, the drop down box actually works as a like search tool. So the widget will only show existing transition connections that match what you select in the drop-down box. And this will massively help you if you make loads of compl complicated connections and avoid duplications, etc. And also, if you do want to delete any of these, you can just tick the white box next to the transition connection and then press delete. And it really is that simple. I hope we've kept this video straightforward enough and it has proved helpful. As always, please do hit the like, subscribe, and even leave a comment if you want because it really does help the reach of these videos. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.